So before we sit down to the table and I give you my opinions on the Arc Fox by Smock, one in the TFV 18, we got a single coil in there set on 100 watts. Before I give you my opinion on this, I just want to say there's better coils out there. There's better tanks out there. There's probably better mods out there. If you're getting into vaping, be serious about it. Spend your money on quality so you won't have to do what I did today. Because instead of running that TFV-18, we're going to be running the Valerian 3. One of the best sub ohm takes on the market. Let me go ahead and vape on this one more last time and show you what we're working with. Let's go to the table. What's going on with y'all, man? Welcome to Chris Budget Gears and Reviews. And as you can see, we got something different again today. I want to actually talk about this right here. This vaping device. This Arc Fox. Made by Smock. I want to tell y'all why I'm going to be changing from using this tank, which is the TFV-18 tank. That actually comes with the Arc Fox mod. I'm going to be changing from this tank over to one of the best tanks on the market, which is the Valerian 3. I'm going to be changing over to this tank. And uh, I just kind of want to tell y'all my experiences with this Arc Fox. I do not like these cores. I have been having issues out of these cores, and it's ridiculous. And that's not cool because I vaped in the past about two years ago. I vaped, but I stopped because once again, I was dealing with a smock device. And back then, um, I can't even remember what smock device I had, but I had issues out of that device. And I didn't like them tanks on there either. So when I got back into vaping a few months ago, I once again went with another smock device. And um, I've been having issues out of the coil. The issue with the coil is this right here. Now, I can't get it to do it now, but I can kind of show you anyway. So let's say you pick the vape device up. You want to hit the fire button so you can hit it. It'll pop up a message on the screen. And people who have this um, mod, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So the ohms that this coil is supposed to be at is 0 0.33. You'll hit the fire button. It'll pop up a message telling you that you can't vape at 0 0.33, which is the ohms it's supposed to be at. It'll change the ohms to like 0 0.77. And um, it won't let you put it on 3.3. So once you click and hold on 0 0.77, what you'll have to do is unscrew it. Make it say no core detected. Screw it back in. And hope that when you hit the fire button again, it'll pick up the correct ohms that it's supposed to be at. And um, that's not what's supposed to happen. And that can be very... Uh, Disappointing to somebody who's new into vaping. Going from just picking up a cigarette, lighting it up with a lighter, to having to prime your cores, having to buy vape juice, having to let the core sit for 10 minutes to make sure that all the wicking soaks up the vape juice, from having to deal with the batteries. The last thing that a new vapor should have to deal with is a fucked up tank with cores that aren't reliable. Out of a three-pack of cores, the issue I just explained to you will at least happen with one of them, if not two out of the three. Luckily, out of the three-pack I just bought, I got me a good core that haven't been having that issue. But you got to understand, you could buy these cores single, they run about five, six, or seven dollars. A pack is about fifteen dollars. So, you know, that kind of adds up. The vape juice itself is about... $20. This vape juice, uh, the juice head, this is about what? $22, $23. So this vaping can be kind of expensive. So if you just spend $5 for a core cool and it don't last you nothing but 500 puffs, that's not cool. So when it comes down to this TFV-18 tank, it is a no-go. Matter of fact, 
you might as well not even get this whole setup that they have. Because Valerian actually make a mod for this tank. But since I already have a mod, I just got the tank. So to kind of break it down into a two-way sense to make it more understandable, it's like how you can have a lower receiver from L Precision, but you can still put a part metal say armory up on top of there. Because all these vape devices and the vape tanks use the same, um, <clears throat> I think this is a 510 if I'm correct, they all use the same pin right here. So I'll be able to take this tank and use it on this mod. I could take this tank, use it on the mod from Valerian. So all of it is kind of interchangeable. So what I would suggest that you do is not even get this as an entire setup. And just get the Valerian setup. Because they have a mod that goes with this tank. But once again, like I stated before, if you already have a mod, you can easily just go get the tank and run this tank on whatever mod you have. So with that being said, man, I just, I can't suggest that y'all mess with them TFV-18 tanks. Because the coil is the weak point. I haven't had no issues out of the mud. That's why I felt comfortable just going to go get another tank to run on top of this mud. But I'm tired of these coils right here. Plus, I've been wanting to step my vaping game up too. And this is literally one of the best tanks on the market. And we're going to be doing a separate unboxing on this as soon as I finish this video. So I just kind of wanted to give y'all my experiences on this Smock TFV-18 that's sitting on top of the Arc Fox. If you really like the Arc Fox, you can go ahead and get this entire setup. But just understand that eventually you're going to want to upgrade your tank. So that's why I'm saying you just might as well spend the money and get the whole Valerian 3 setup. The tank and the mud together. So with that being said, y'all be blessed, be safe, I'm out. The next video I'm going to be doing will be an unboxing of the best uh, sub-ohm vape tank on the market.